Okay, so this video focuses on um, Easter, all right, and the questions that it's going to look at are um, describe how Catholics celebrate Easter, explain the importance of Easter, and then what you can, can use as alternative answers for it. So obviously Easter focuses on Jesus' resurrection, what's being remembered, so keep that in mind, all right, then, then that'll help you, I think, get through a lot of the reasons why it's important in particular. So, First of all, describing um, how Catholics celebrate Easter. Well, there's a big focus on the Easter Vigil Mass, okay? So, a couple of your points, all right, at least two or three, need to be about what happens during the Easter Vigil Mass. So, firstly, during the Easter Vigil Mass, the service actually begins outside in darkness, okay? Outside in darkness until the Easter fire is lit and the Paschal candle is lit from it. And the reason for this, all right, is because it's to represent that Jesus, the light of the world, has returned, okay, through his resurrection. So the idea of light, the paschal candle being lit, is a representation of Jesus' presence. The second thing, all right, the priest wears white or gold. The reason for this is to remind that this is a time of celebration, of jubilation, all right, um, as opposed to the black that he was wearing on Good Friday. Also linked with this, okay, the church is filled with flowers and the Gloria prayer or hymn is sung, all right? Why is this? Once again, it's a reminder that it's a time of celebration and great joy. Next answer, all right, again, focusing still on, um, still on what happens during each individual service, is that there are a large variety of readings, it's approximately 13, okay, that there are a large amount of readings during the liturgy of the word in the Mass. And the reason for this is that they want to communicate the key message of God's love at this point. So during resurrection, it's like the idea of, of, of new life, new start, and it's setting the tone, really, okay? And it's talking all about God's love for humanity. Um, then what also happens, if again, if you think about that new life, all right, it's recommitting. So what happens during the Mass is that the, what's called the parishioners, the, the congregation, they renew their baptismal vows, or even a baptism takes place in Mass, why? Because it is a symbol of a new life and a new start with God. Okay, so recommitment following our new life that started from Jesus' resurrection. Okay, and the final one, because we can't talk about Easter without mentioning it, all right, is the exchanging of Easter eggs. All right, that, whilst this isn't a not a specifically Catholic practice, all right, they are obviously eggs being a symbol of new life. All right, so that is the reason that Catholics exchange them. Now, when it comes to explaining the importance of Easter, all right? Now, this is obviously quite a straightforward question, really, okay? It's to do with Jesus rising from the dead and what's being remind remember it. What is crucial is that in your answer you say it reminds us of whatever it is, okay? You can't just say it's important because it when Jesus rose from the dead because that's not true, technically, okay? So you need to be about reminds us. So... First things first, all right? Easter is important because it reminds us of the it reminds us sorry of Jesus's omnipotence. Why is this? This is because Jesus rose from the dead, defeated death, okay? The impact of this. Therefore, Catholics understand the greatness of Jesus and at Easter spend a lot of time sort of in in praise and worship of him, particularly during that Easter vigil mass, all right? And you can link that to the Gloria, etc., all right? Now, the next one is that it uh, was called, reminds us that Jesus is the Messiah. Why is this? This is because the Old Testament uh, was called prophesied. There's a pro Old Testament prophecy said that the Messiah will rise from the dead. And that is what Jesus did. Therefore, this gives Catholics confidence that Jesus truly is the Son of God. And that we should follow his teachings and his example. All right. And recommit to him at Easter time. Um... Another reason why it's important is that it gives us hope of an afterlife. All right, Easter reminds us of the fact that we could have an afterlife. Why is this? Why is this? Well, this is because Jesus. All right, because he was able to um, defeat death and rise from the dead. It shows that there must be life after death. So therefore, the impact of this is that Catholics are motivated to lead good Christian lives and recommit to God at Easter time in order to be able to, 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 get, that, to get a positive afterlife with God in heaven. Now, the next reason why it's important is that it's a time that we can recommit to God. And this is because Jesus' resurrection celebrates or reminds us that this is a new life or a new start with God. 
So, therefore, what do Catholics do to recommit to God? They renew their baptismal vows. All right. And it's that sort of it's saying once again, God, I am following you and I am there. It was called to, to do your work. And that's another reason why it's important. All right. Is that Easter provides us with an opportunity to fulfill the two greatest commandments. All right. Which are love thy God and love thy neighbor. And this is because Easter is a key time of the year for Catholics, a key time in the liturgical year. And as a result of that, we should prioritize doing God's work at this time. So therefore, Catholics can show love to God through uh, attending Easter Vigil Mass or by going to reconciliation in preparation for it so they can rebuild their relationship with him. We can sing in the Gloria. That reminds us of the fact that we're glorifying God, worshipping him. And we can also show love to others. All right. And one of the ways in which we can do this is by exchanging eggs with them. All right. Or by donating to charities such as CAFOD this time of year. Now, an alternative about why Easter isn't important, all right? Well, obviously, it is vitally important, Easter is, okay? So, instead, what you've got to kind of say is that there are other times that might be more important. So, you could say Christmas, and you could give the reasons about how that shows Jesus to be the Messiah, or shows... Um, God's omnipotence because of the virgin birth, etc. You could say about the ascension being more important because that was the time when the powers handed over to human beings, and and that's important because of the fact that we can follow. It's easy to, for us to to follow human beings' examples, or that it raises the importance of of our responsibility. Um, you could also say about Jesus' death being more important because it really shows Jesus's omnibenevolence. Um, a final thing I suppose that, that you could say about, um, if you had to say about the resurrection, is that it's difficult to believe, and even time, it was called those at the time that Jesus was around, okay, that a lot of them didn't believe what was happening. Even one of his followers, I mean, Doubting Thomas, found it difficult to believe um, in 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 the resurrection. So that's sort of Easter, how it's celebrated, why it's important, and finally, maybe the alternative for an evaluation question.